Both of my parents had uh, different kinds of dementia at the same time. My dad was diagnosed with vascular dementia and my mum had Alzheimer's or had a, certainly something that looked very much like Alzheimer's. In fact, she was one of the, I think it was something like one in the three people uh, who didn't receive a, a formal diagnosis. They lived at home and I lived nearby and although I wasn't a full-time carer, gradually, bit by bit, it was me really who was keeping the show on the road. So um, I was self-employed, I could choose my own working hours, but I found as a carer that actually you do more and more caring and less and less working. And eventually my parents both went into a care home and uh, that didn't stop me being a carer but it made it, it made it easier. And eventually first my dad died and then my mum died and at that point quite soon after I think my mum died I, I was in the Cambridge City Library and I was looking at the notice board and I saw a, a, a notice for the Dementia Carers Support Scheme that asked for essentially people like me, people who'd had experience of being a carer, to, to join and to act as a befriender to, to people who are currently caring for people with dementia. You were matched up by the coordinators with somebody that they think that you will get on with and that's very important um, that you're going to be matched up with somebody, then you're playing this befriending role, so you'll see them once in every few weeks maybe, or to depend where they are in, in their journey. Um, and what I've found is that you're there really to give information sometimes, but as a moral support, an emotional support. And there's something quite rewarding about that, because it's, it's kind of two-way. You have empathy with them because you've been you've been in the same situation you can see somewhat where they are in their journey in their emotional journey because it is an emotional thing being a carer is practical and difficult but there's a massively important emotional side you care for somebody because you love them and if you're not if you don't feel you're caring well you know you, you can feel guilty there's lots of massive amount of emotion around this and I think a befriending service allows somewhere for that emotion to go, that you, people can say how it is for them, they can, they can admit to somebody who understands that actually it's very hard, or that sometimes they feel impatient, or that you know it's all getting too much, or they really need a break, or whatever it is, they can say it quite frankly and openly, and that's all right. And I think that's a very important role, and it's also rewarding for the person like me on the receiving end.